Thank you, Senator Bronte. My name is Terry Wagner, T-E-R-R-Y-W-A-G-N-E-R. -E uh, I am the Sheriff of Lancaster County and I appear on behalf of the Nebraska Sheriff's Association in Lancaster County in support of LB-68, but with some reservations. Nebraska Revised Statute 60-2403 places the responsibility to issue handgun purchase permits on county sheriffs and police chiefs. By mutual agreement in Lincoln, my office issues all the permits in Lancaster County. One of the issues that has come up is the difference in firearms possession disqualifiers for the city of Lincoln <coughs> versus the rest of Lancaster County in the state of Nebraska. There are a number of Lincoln City ordinances that if convicted could prevent someone from possessing a firearm within the city limits of Lincoln, but not from possessing a firearm in Lancaster County outside those city limits or within the state of Nebraska. When my office issues a permit, a notice is attached that the bearer may be in violation of Lincoln Municipal Ordinance if they are in possession of a firearm and have con been convicted of one of the enumerated crimes. As you can imagine, confusion abounds with some permit holders. I know there have been prosecutions of persons issued permits by my office who are in violation of Lincoln City Ordinance. I don't know the outcome of those of the prosecutions, but I know I've had phone calls from the city attorney's office talking about why we issued a permit when they were disqualified <laughs> under city ordinance. LB 68 would remove that ambiguity that exists from citizens on where they may legally possess or not possess firearms in the state. And I support the intent of LB 68 to remove that ambiguity. Having voiced my support and my fellow sheriffs, the Lancaster County Board, and I are concerned that we would be unable to prohibit open carry in government buildings in Lancaster County uh, if LB 68 passes in its current language. Nebraska Revised Statute 69-2441, the carry concealed law, prohibits persons from carrying concealed firearms into government buildings. There is no such prohibition from somebody carrying a firearm in the open, on open carry. LB 68 may prohibit, and I'm uh, emphasize may, um, Senator Hilgers and I have talked about this and it, there's some debate about whether uh, that prohibition exists, but it may prohibit cities and counties from enacting an ordinance or a rule that would prohibit someone from bringing an open carry firearm into any government building. Nebraska sheriffs are tasked with protecting and providing security to the courts in their counties. In Lancaster County, part of the security of the courts <coughs> is to prevent firearms and other weapons from being brought into our Justice and Law Enforcement Center via a security checkpoint at the entrance to the building. While we have deputy sheriffs providing security to individual courts, at least the deputies are reasonably sure the people that are, they are contacting are not armed. Currently, we are able to provide much better security to the courts by limiting firearms into the building with fewer employees, thus reducing the potential for violence in the areas of the building where both sides of an issue may have contact. My only alternative, my only alternative if LB 68 is passed is in its current form is to screen the participants at the entrance to each courtroom. Um, I'm urging the committee to support uh, this bill with possibly some amendments to allow pro, uh, bringing an open carry firearm into the government building. With that, I'd be able to answer, I'd be glad to answer any questions the committee might have. All right, thank you very much for your testimony, Senator Blood. Thank you, Senator Morante. Um, and thank you, Sheriff, for your testimony. So, I was doing a little research, and since you are an expert in this area, <laughs> I'm going to ask you the question. Senator Lowe had talked a little bit of, a while ago about his wife moving his car, and that, that and Senator Hilgers had said that that would have put his wife in violation. <laughs> but from the quick scan I was able to do on my phone um, on a variety of local ordinances, um, it looks like most state policy says that that's up to the officer's discretion if indeed something like that were to happen. Has that been your experience as well? That's correct. Okay, I mean, thank you. technically speaking, Senator Lowe's wife would be in, in violation of the law right. and, and could be subject to prosecution. Practically speaking, there's certainly some discretion on the part of the officer when, when the facts and circumstances of that case came forward that may not result in, in, in a <coughs> citation. And, and we have a lot of very reasonable law enforcement people in Nebraska. I'd like to think. Thank you. All right. Any additional questions? Seeing none. Thank you.